Hello, everybody. When you see this, we'll be getting ready for JoJo to join us. It'll be very fun. Play some games, do some things. Yeah, talking to myself, always fun. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey. Everybody, we are getting ready for JoJo to join us today, which is exciting. But we're gonna play a little game. Talk to her about her new music. Album coming out. So if you have any questions, hit us up right now. You know, put them in before it goes a little bit nuts in here. So I can make sure I ask her whatever you want. Hello, hello. I'm Elizabethany, and I'm just going to keep repeating myself, you know, that JoJo's coming, because there's new people who keep coming, so you got to keep saying it for all the noobs, and it's just, what else, I mean, I can talk about how I'm sitting in front of a window in my room, guest room, and, ooh, that would be amazing if she collabed with Brit, Brit, Brit. Hello everybody. Has anybody ever played the five second rule? Because that's what I've been playing on video chat, so that's what we're gonna try to play today. And hopefully it'll be very fun. But thank you all for watching. We're just waiting a couple minutes for JoJo to join us. Thank you, Karen. I have been, um, I use a little bit of Revitalash, which helps a lot, but they're like not thick. You know, sucks. Ooh, ooh, JoJo's here. Let's go. Damn, mommy, those lashes. Oh, someone else was just saying thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I cheat because I use Revita Lash. So that's not a cheat. They're yeah. yours. They're yours now. It's like a minor cheat. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm just waking up. How are you? Yeah, uh, yeah, because you're in LA, right? So, well, I mean, I'm not just waking up. I just had a wicked late night, but I've been up since like eight doing interviews and stuff. So I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. What are you doing with your life? Like at night, are you staying up all night and just kind of hanging with yourself, or what's what's your? Last night, I um, actually like filmed a quarantine music video inside here, <laughs> inside my crib. So we turned it into like a little fantasy den. Uh, I just like brought some lights in, you know, basically crawled on my kitchen table. So just got creative. So that's how does that work? Do you night. have anybody who comes in and sets it up and then bounces out, or are you just kind of? I had a. I had a, I had a, a a director come in, wear a mask the whole time. This is a close friend of mine. So um, it was uh, like like nothing we've ever done before, but making it work. <laughs> I know. I like it that people are getting creative and like not only doing stuff like this, but seeing all the different shows that are. I know, really like SNL. Yeah. I know. I'm loving SNL from home, and um, it's it's cool to see people just staying flexible. Yeah, my camera roll right now is pictures of the TV because I'm like, I want to remember that they did it this way. <laughs> I know. What so a time weird. to be alive. I know. So I want to play a game with you coming up in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the music, because obviously it's a huge week for you. Woo! Ah! Uh, so what does it feel like to be prepping to put out an album on Friday? Yeah, it's crazy. Good to know everybody who's here. Good to know comes out May 1st. Um, it feels really crazy. Um, but... I, I also felt like there was no reason for me to push this album back. It, it, it's a lot about like the, the ways in which I've tried to escape myself over the years, just because it's, you know, it's uncomfortable being a human sometimes and just like being in your twenties. So I was just writing through that. And I think that a lot of people are feeling that discomfort of like, whoa, like being with myself is so, so crazy right now. And that's a lot of like what this album was about, but it's tied up in a bow of like, hella bops so it's not like it's totally deep the whole time which is what we kind of expect from you is just a bunch of bops with like very relatable but fun to sing music so Thank you. i got you <laughs> um and i saw that you have a song called pedialyte so i need to know more <laughs> about uh, well <laughs> as, as you probably know you know uh pedialyte is like I, when i was 
around college age, people would be like, oh my God, have you ever used Pedialyte like after a hangover? Because it really helps replenish your electrolytes. So that's, I never say the word Pedialyte in the song, but it's really about like after a big night, it's the morning after and being like, oh my God, I'm never going to drink again. And then, <laughs> but every day is another celebration. So uh, cheers to that. You know, it's just kind of one of those cycles. That is perfect. And really even I've been doing like intense virtual parties so really? I still wake up hungover, which feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, how am I this hungover from the crib? Right. We did a we did a virtual beer Olympics last Friday. What the hell is a beer Olympics? Oh, girl, if you've never played. I mean, it's like you get all the different. Uh, basically, you combine Olympic sports with drinking games. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making it work by any means yeah. necessary. I mean, you gotta, you gotta find a way to still look forward to things, but it sucks. Like on Saturday, I wake up hungover and then I'm like, well, I guess I have nothing else to do. So. So I'll just lay here. This is what it is. Yeah, it is what and it is. Pedialyte hasn't really been on any of my grocery shopping list, which is silly. <laughs> it's unfortunate. You are with your mom, right? Or yes, that she, she moved in with me a few months ago and, um, we're from Massachusetts, so and not now I'm in LA, and we're actually cohabitating really well. So I'm okay. happy to say that we are making it work very well. She's great. So when she moved in, you didn't expect to spend this much time together, but <laughs> do you think that like you've had to get more patience, or are you guys just that close that it's okay and it's working? I think that we've just both had to respect that we are now both two grown women and I have my home in the way I like things and she has her way that she does things and uh, <laughs> she's coming up the stairs like uh. <laughs> no we're no, we're doing a great job at respecting each other we are you know, <laughs> that we're respecting our differences and celebrating what brings us together she hears you talking about her she's like oh let me yeah. let me see what you're gonna say <laughs> exactly is she, what kind of mom is she like with all of your music and your music videos? Does she like to have a say or opinion on them? It's funny. Cause I was like rolling around on my kitchen table last night in like, you know, pasties pretty much. And, <laughs> and, and, and she was like, and I was like, Oh mom, sorry. You have to like, see, you know, see me on this table. She's like, I was doing a lot of things on a lot of tables when I was your age. I'm like, oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> she is just supportive and understanding of my journey. That's good. My, my mom would, no, it would just be too much. She's my mom is at that stage where she's starting to make sex jokes, and I'm like, can we, can we not have that? Oh, oh, that's dope though. See, we, um, yeah, we we talk a lot about sex actually. My mom and I are really pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it just depends on like how it all starts when you're younger too. She's just like walking in the background. <laughs> yeah, she's at the bookshelf. Where, what are you doing, Ma? Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> she can't hear you. I got my earphones in, but she's oh yeah, right. Like, Sorry to yell if, you know, she can't even hear you. Um, so also you've been doing these episodes of kind of making everything of this album. Yeah. So I always, I love seeing behind the scenes of photo shoots and stuff too. So that's what you posted yesterday. Do you feel awkward having to do stuff like that? Or is it just like you turn on music and it's so natural? Oh, doing photo shoots and stuff? Yeah. I like getting dressed up. I, I like... I like that actually. Okay. So it, it feels fun. I've always liked to do that since I was a little girl. I mean, there's pictures of me like in feather boas and like, like chunky plastic heels, you know, and like fake nails as a little girl. I loved all that. So I've always, um, well, I, does it feel natural? No, it just feels a little, it still feels a little like, like putting on, you know, playing a character a little bit, but I like that. She's a bad bitch, whatever character I'd be playing on in my photo shoot. So it's fun. Yeah. Do you have, do you have a little alter ego that you put on for stage or for photo shoots or is it just, you, uh, you're getting more confidence? Um, it's just, I just go within the depths of myself and, and pull out that fierceness that I have the tiger. Oh my God. Then, yeah. You guys go to like some sort of class where you learn what to do with your eyes. <laughs> like, there's, there's a secret class. They make all of us go through it. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. You never blink at photos and you always look like sex kitten with your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I just think when you, when you've seen so many photos of yourself um, for over the years, you just, you start to know like 
what looks good on you. So, and then you try to do more of that, I guess. Well, good job. Uh, you also did the ladies night for the video for man. Yeah. Was that like a natural, those are all your girls that you hang out with anyway, or how did that happen? Yeah, I mean, Tanasha and Ari Lennox are new new friends of mine, but like Francia and Jinju have been my friends for like over a decade. So that was really um, super natural. And Tanasha and Ari put out projects that are two of my favorites from the past couple years. And I just love what they're creating for themselves. So I wanted to reach out to women who, um, y who I respect and admire and think that they're like, doing their own thing in a bomb way and I basically called up a few people and were like do you want to come drink wine with me come through so <laughs> who's gonna turn down wine I mean how, how could you <laughs> um so I want to play have you played five second rule where you have to say three things in five seconds no okay so I'll just like tell you something this is the nighttime version of the game but it should be mostly appropriate um okay. So I'll tell you it, and then you have to say three things basically as fast as you can because the timer's annoying. Okay. Okay. So name three songs about sex. Oh, Come Back, which my song that's coming out. Um, sex Beat by Usher and... Oh, why can't I think of any sex songs? And Bed by friggin' uh, whatever that song is. I'm gonna put you to bed. Oh. I know that was more than five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yep, nope, that's good. Okay. Three names for your lady parts. Oh, I can say it? Yeah, yeah, you can say. Oh, pussy, hoo-ha, um, chocha. <laughs> there they are. Uh, three places you should not drink. Um, you should not drink in a bathroom, in a public bathroom. You should not drink at a funeral. You should not drink at church hmm. yeah church was the first one that came to my mind funeral that's that could go either way sometimes you need to <laughs> yeah yeah let me not judge three things that you don't want your boss to tell you um that 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 you're fired that they they, they have coronavirus that, <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 be with that. Um, okay. Interesting. Three couples you would swing with. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Chrissy Teigen and John Legend are such a cool couple. That, that's yes. the only one I can think of because I just <laughs> really like them a lot. So that was my immediate thought too. I know, right? They're so fun. maybe maybe Michelle and Barack just weirdly. <laughs> mm, I, I I feel I feel you. <laughs> um, three things you shout during uh, we'll call it bedroom activities. <laughs> oh my god, bitch! Um, okay, let me <laughs> I shout um, woo, and <laughs> like yes. Or, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I have, like, a couple more. Three nicknames for your butt. Booty. Peach. Mm. Um, mm. Um, <laughs> ass. Yes. I love this game. This is, like, whenever we are doing any kind of video chat with my friends – and it gets boring. We just start doing this so that this we're. This is a great idea. I'm going to do this with my friends. Highly recommend. I like this. I don't know if it's an Ellen game or what, but. Oh, um, okay. okay. But Donka Donk, that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cake. That's, that's like a throwback nickname that yeah. people don't use as much anymore. Yeah. Okay. Three people you would like to see shirtless. Um. Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Who do I want to see shirtless? I don't know. Who's hot? I can't even think of people. I'm I'm like blushing. You have me. You have me. <laughs> I just I just told you what my sex noises sound like. I don't know anymore. I found the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> um, all I could think of was Shamar Moore. It's weird, like who comes to mind first. But, but he's always think. shirtless. He's I know, I know. Like, we've seen him shirtless. So I'm trying to think of someone who's, like, not shirtless a lot. It would be, like, 
Barack, you know, he's he's a fine older man. Like, but like, I respect him enough. I want him to keep mm -hmm. his clothes on. Like, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, it, well, if we're talking about people, we never see shirtless and that's, that's for sure. All right. The last one is three fictional characters you would want to date. Fictional characters? Like TV show, movie. Um, okay. Okay. This is so weird. But you know, the, the lead guy in you, you know, the, the show you on Netflix, the guy was like mur murderous. He's murderous, but like, he seems like very passionate and fun. Like he seems like he'd be really freaking these girls out. Like as long as you don't murder me, like let's make out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah um someone said the beast like the beast from beauty and the beast that's a cute idea i like that um and um oh uh, uh jason momoa's character in um yeah <laughs> in game uh, of Thrones. yeah okay you are um i'm afraid yeah yeah okay so <laughs> you like a little spicing up of I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna no. say strength, but I don't know what to call the guy from you. So uh, yeah, I know, just just insanity, just just murderousness. Yeah, Crazy. psychopath. Yeah, that too, which is probably what the world doesn't need right now. But you know, you make your fantasies happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl. Well, I thank you so much for playing the game and hanging out. I am so excited because. You have big gaps in between your album. I mean, like albums. Obviously, this is not as big as like the decade. Made us wait from 2006 to 2016. Oh man, that was so not what I wanted to do. But I am never going to take that big of a gap again. So I'm so excited well, for y'all to hear this. I'm so pumped, and we'll have a quarantine soundtrack starting Friday. Yes, come check me out on my IG live, everybody. We're going to be cheersing, talking, and just celebrating good to know so i'm gonna have something different in my coffee cup and uh, we're gonna have a good time everybody get their wine their rosé whatever they need for a virtual happy hour exactly all right have a great rest of your day week thank you love thank you bye bye, bye.